Hello everybody, here we are again in the awesome PC-12, loving it. So this is an autopilot tutorial, uh, before we get started I just want to explain this panel down here, this is more more for the display and not really for the um, autopilot. Uh, we have the decision height here which you can change here, uh, we have our course and heading um, book uh, selectors, um, of course one of my pet peeves in Microsoft Flight Sim they move so slowly if you press the shift button you can see the heading um, knob um, works sorry um, bug selector is a bit faster if you press shift so that helps a lot and of course if we then uh, look here we've got um, brightness controls for the two displays which is pretty cool uh, we have also um, change between arc mode or HSI mode uh, this is the uh, nav source here we can go between nav VOR I'm tuned to the Perth VOR here or oh, a little bit close uh, of course now if I change my course um, course selector now it changes on the display there that's great uh, let's go back into GPS mode because we've got the autopilot GPS mode. Uh, here we've also got the, the two displays for um, the pointers. We can select them there between GPS, ADF, off, VOR. That's great. Back to VOR. Uh, guess this is switching. Oh, yeah, probably the nav source between nav 1 or nav 2. Guessing. Uh, this panel down here, I haven't seen it in the manual and it seems to be a bit inactive. Can't move this to on or test the ground radar or weather radar so hopefully that's coming okay we're gonna overfly the airport here oh. okay it doesn't matter all right just showing the autopilot how it works so here uh, this uh, altitude selector creates a lot of problems with for some people I would say it's a, yeah they seem to be a bit finicky and uh, got a mind of their own but actually it's working in my view perfectly just have to know what you're doing but uh, I must admit, I fight with these sometimes. So, let me explain. Uh, we're at 11,000 feet. Uh, we want to climb. Okay, so you use these buttons here. We're in altitude mode, you can see here. Um, we pre-select uh, 13,000 feet we want to climb up. 2,000 feet step climb here. Uh, so, at the moment, nothing's going to happen. We're at 11,000 feet. If we um, arm that, that kind of feeds the autopilot this altitude that we want but we have to tell it how to get there with vertical speed or IAS mode but we're sticking to this for the moment so now because we're level uh, oh we've kicked out of nav there anyway it doesn't matter because we're level flight if I engage vertical speed it's going to engage zero feet per minute you can see that there so that's good because we haven't asked the plane to climb yet. If I pull this button here, it will display now the vertical speed. So if I want to climb in hundreds of feet here, we use the outside knob and the inside knob selects thousand feet. feet. Okay. So that's great. Now the plane is climbing as we can see. We can also use the up and down here to, um, to change the vertical speed here is kind of cool if we want to use that uh, okay so now we're climbing because we changed the vertical speed and we've got vertical speed engaged okay, it's so important to have the understanding of the armed and engaged modes here otherwise you can get into a mess and the plane is doing exactly what we want um, why is that flashing I'm supposed to put this back into altitude mode so it's just flashing to remind you I think it's uh, 30 seconds or 60 seconds, I'm not sure. If you forget, uh, it will flash and remind you. Okay, so we're coming within 1,000 feet of our selected altitude here. We should get the warning. Perfect. Doing exactly what it says on the tin. And uh, now to speed up, um, we've got enough enough speed here. Now to speed up the climb, I'll. Oh, Let's use this, stick to this here. So go back to the vertical speed so I can see what I'm selecting. Let's go to 1,500 feet a minute to 
increase the uh, climb. The only thing I find with the plane is the pitch mode is a bit aggressive, but I've never been in a real PC-12, so I can't say it's a bug. Okay, so let's just decrease that for comfort. Go back into altitude mode. Now, just as we get to our selected altitude here, we'll get another warning to tell us we've arrived where we want to be. Perfect. She'll level off. So, yeah, it does actually exactly what it should be doing. Uh, so one more time we want to climb. Um, there's nothing armed or, or engaged here, so we can freely uh, change the values here. We could this, this time we're going to pre-select 1,500 feet a minute climb at to 15,000 feet. Okay, like we say, nothing's happening because we've not hit arm or engage. Let's go back to altitude mode to arm the altitude. Tell the autopilot we want to go to 15,000 feet. Now engage vertical speed. Oh, sorry. Got to preset it, haven't I? Let's <laughs> preset here. You've got to preset it and be on the vertical speed mode here for it to. Boom! Now she'll pitch up Whew, like a rocket. Yeah, a bit aggressive, like I say, but it works. 1,500 feet a minute, and off she goes. So we'll let her climb there, that's fine. Okay, we've overflown Perth, which is somewhere there behind us. There we go. There she is, right there. So, that's good because we can show the VOR mode now to uh, track back to the airport. Okay, so. Let's go into, uh, like a good pilot has put in heading mode. I wasn't in any mode. See, this is flashing again to tell me you've forgotten to put it into altitude mode. Good. Uh, nav source. VOR. Okay, now we're going to go direct to Perth, so. See, it's moving slow. Don't forget, press shift. Moves a lot faster. Still too slow for me. Single pilot. Too much hands on. Lose control of what you're doing sometimes with stuff like that. So let's just change. There we go. Alright. So, of course, if I press nav mode now, she'll swing around and intercept our desired. Um, course to the uh, VOR station which is 316 let's round it up to 5 315 okay beeping to tell me I've leveled off good okay and she'll follow all the way around let's give her a chance to get onto the uh, radial there okay so that's nav mode approach yeah self-explanatory back course I've never used it in the sim ever half bank is kind of good I don't know if that works. Maybe I need to do that before I'm in the turn. Anyway, uh, so there you go. There's the altitude selector. That's very important. Um, if you're in GPS mode, you need to uh, need to be on an intercept heading before you can arm the nav. Let's switch into here. Okay, before you can arm arm the nav. So. So there we go, we can use heading mode or nav mode, which nav mode is connected to the nav source, which is down here. Okay, pretty self-explanatory, really. Oh, I've got my fuel reset. There we go. Put that down. Okay, good. It shows our fuel now. Good. Um, yeah, indicated airspeed mode. Yeah, let's just... That's pretty good for the climb. I, I have got a read the manuals and watch some more YouTube videos to figure out what they do in real life. I've heard it's 135 knots is the best climb speed, but let's try something. Let's pre-select 20,000 feet. Okay, just before the plane starts going into circles when I go above the airport, let's put it back into heading mode. So slow, even with switch shift. mode then we know the plane's just going to keep flying level so pre-selected 20,000 feet arm it don't forget that um, we're not going to use this mode so we've armed if we go into 
IAS mode now. See the vertical speeds moving around a little bit here. So I'll need to power up to climb. I'm almost at full power anyway. So I don't have much climb performance left in me, but um, there we go. And now she's going to hold our 212 knots that we what, that we have. If I want to descend, let's uh, pre-select a lower altitude, say 10,000 feet. Arm it. I'm in IAS mode, so if I reduce the power. She'll start pitching down. That's a little bit more work. Yeah, swings and roundabouts really. Here you have to use power to control your uh, vertical speed, or if you want to control your vertical speed with the selector here, you can do it that way. So, whatever, whatever um, suits your fancy. What we can do here now is use in IAS mode. We can use this here to change our. Um, pitch okay that works also you can see here now I'm pressing up and we're now gonna go to a level off now this is not actually meaning to increase our vertical speed um, it's actually meaning to reduce the IAS if that makes sense so you can see now the speed is dropping and because I was descending if I go down which means lower the speed she's still gonna she's not gonna start climbing okay. that makes sense anyway I haven't played around sorry up I got it wrong there up if we wanna pitch the plane up sorry about that um, she'll level off pitch the plane up and that will lower our speed I haven't played around with this a lot I'm finding just using the vertical speed selector here totally fine and then adjusting my power for climb speed or whatever oh, sorry yeah just in my uh, vertical speed for the climb speed but you can play around with it but that's how it works that's the principle see we're reducing our speed here reducing reducing okay. good there we go so if you um, play around with it, you're going to enjoy this plane. I think this is the most important thing to understand here, this thing. Otherwise, it'll drive you crazy. Okay, thanks for watching. Thank you.